Today I wanted to talk about the nano verb. This particular nano verb unit I've had for many many years, maybe even 20 years. I had to buy myself a new power supply for it, but other than that, the unit itself is really great. Two RCAs in, two RCAs out, and you're ready to go. Any DJ could use this, but the reason I wanted to do this tutorial today is basically to show you the easy way or maybe some cheats you can use if you're a DJ or you're performing live music and you tend to play music at the same tempo and especially for a lot of DJs playing music at the same tempo is quite common so if I could show you a couple of tricks and tips on how to use such a simple unit as this I'm sure you'll be pretty impressed and run out and buy yourself a nano verb they take up almost no space, which is pretty sweet. They, they don't heat up. They don't uh, cause any static to the other electrical components or any other devices. So as far as running it alongside other things, I believe the Nano Verb is 100% sweet. 18-bit digital effects. So normally 16 is what you might expect or 24 nowadays. And as you can see, when I was doing my drum and bass music a long time ago, uh, I used to do some drum and bass under the name of Impact Bass and a couple of other different types of bands. Uh, I used the delay quite often, so I didn't really play around too much unless I just played up and down during a performance. I didn't play with the um, ratios. So as you can see, I always mark the delay so I'd be able to see it in the dark. Uh, everything that's white is to be seen in the dark or in very low light conditions, which nightclubs usually are, and most performance venues usually are. You can also see here, I've made a marker with a whiteout pen. Two markers here. This is a, a double time marker, and this is a, a slow half time delay marker. This is what I was doing drum and bass music, so almost everything I did was at 180 beats a minute. And I know 180 beats a minute is pretty fast, but the music was pretty simple. And the bass lines were pretty slow. So if I played effects at this rate, it would double up the echo. And every instrument would be doubled up. And every vocal would be doubled up, depending on what I routed to the effects unit. If I turned the dial over to this marker, then the music would be half time. Meaning a delay would happen every two beats. And that means that the music would sound more delayed, more like reggae, more like dub, more like uh, spacey and spread out echoes with this amount of echo. Of course these two markers only mark out for 180 beats a minute. I don't believe I'm going to be doing any music that's 180 beats a minute probably ever again. Fastest music I do now is about 150 beats a minute and maybe 160 at the maximum. So I'm not going to need these two white markers anymore. They're kind of useless to me. I think what I might do is I might just clean them off and then put some new markers on there, uh, which will be better indicators for the tempo that I'm going to use. And I'll show you how easy it is to set the indicators just after I clean this unit and clean off these markers that are for 180 beats a minute. All right, so I cleaned it. I did what I could. I cleaned off the markings, these two markings that were here in whiteout pen. I won't bother about the delay marker. That's fine. The unit itself, like I said, it's about 20 years old. Still works perfectly fine. The only little hiccup is the AC power, not DC power. That's why I needed to buy a special transformer, not your normal DC power. Otherwise though, two inputs, two outputs, a foot switch. Alright, so the unit's in. You could hear it click just now. First of all, I'll play you a, a rhythm, just a basic beat. Yeah, the beat itself is at either 150 beats a minute or 75 beats a minute, depending which way you want to measure the rhythm. The tempo on the sampler is 150, but you could say it's a 75 beats a minute track. Just a really simple tune. So listen to this rhythm. All right, we have a basic rhythm. And at the moment, we have no effects going in because it's completely dry. So let's add the effect into the rhythm. 
it's on full over here so that's the maximum ratio something's not right There we go. Too much of something. Oh, it's on haul. Okay. Hear that rhythm? It's awful. So what I do is I take it back to as short a ratio as possible as tight as possible here on the left the mix is now fully wet so the effect should be quite loud now let's see when we get our first pleasant effect it's sort of doubling up a little here now it's becoming more metallic almost one beat apart there we go there's our first decent rhythm so I just take a little tape you can use anything cut a little triangle off As an arrow marker I'll take the tip off might be a bit long okay so this is our first rhythm at 150 beats a minute okay there we go that's our first pleasing rhythm at 150 beats a minute or 75 beats a minute this is just a little bit of packing tape you could use any kind of tape and personally I'd prefer white PVC tape that you would use for plumbing because it's very bright under disco lights or under auditorium lights or any place that's dark but still a lighter color tape means you can see the markers easier in the dark all right, let's get to our next good rhythm. That one's pretty good. Just got to hone it down a little. That's like a one third. Not a full beat, just a one third. Okay. It's not much different, but it's important to define where it is exactly. Uh oh, okay. Number two, they're pretty close together, but you'll notice as we go further along, the ratio will become much, much wider, and the spaces between the delays may actually be quite far as we reach the furthest part. Let's try the next. Yeah, that's a bit of a mess. All right, that's like a 4-4. Four, four. A real standing beat. I'll throw another marker down. Oops. Yep.
All right, next. Gets a bit mixed up here. Kefuddled, muddled. At some point, it's going to make a rhythm. Yeah, that's a nice one, like a 2 4. Yeah, it's really landing on its own beat. It's quite a nice rhythm. Alright, I'm just going to cut myself another little indicator. So I got my little triangle and I'm going to mark the next pleasant rhythm at 75 beats a minute. It's just off the halfway mark. Just off. A little bit more. There we go. Nice. Next starts to get all mixed up again see you don't want to do this live you want to know where you're turning your knob all right somewhere around here all right that's an interesting rhythm Alright, the good thing with tape is you can just peel it right off if you do it wrong. Just cut yourself another triangle.